Uh, you know, for us, it's just kind of back to business. Our, our guys know that they uh, played poorly this Saturday, and so they want to. It's uh, a little motivation to go out there and, and, and you know respond to this loss and, and play to the potential that that we all know we can play at. I think the biggest challenge comes from their offense, uh, their quarterback, and and they got two or three running backs that are playing at a very high level. Uh, if you look at what they did against West Alabama last last week, uh, with the quarterback and running back having you know 300, almost 300 yards rushing, and uh, overall his offense close to 400 yards, uh, that's a big challenge for us. We got to treat it just like a, an option team, like Eastern New Mexico, and make sure. Uh, each position has a responsibility taken care of. And if you have a guy that's not in his gap or taking care of uh, someone else's responsibility, then they're going to hit you for, for a big play. So that's that's going to be the biggest challenge. I think, uh, you know, on the offensive side of the ball, um, just a challenge to come out and, and put points on the board and uh, regroup and refocus from uh, this past weekend. I, I think so. I think, you know, they do a great job running the ball, and if you can do that for four quarters, then obviously the defense is going to get tired. You know, they were on the field quite a bit. Uh, Midwestern does a great job staying in the same personnel so you can't and going up tempo so you can't really sub, and so your guys can get tired. And if you start getting tired against this offense, uh, as good as their offensive line is, you're going to get blown off the ball, and they're going to hit you with big plays. And so... You know, our defense has got to find ways to get stops and get off the field and give our offense oppor opportunities. And if we can cash in on those opportunities, you know, may hopefully get them frustrated, kind of get them out of rhythm, then maybe we'll have a chance. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't show your team much in the Carlton game against Midwestern when Carlton was able to beat them? Just to show you it's a beatable team. Yeah, our kids get to watch all the games. And, you know, we've, we've broken down every single one, and Tarleton was one of the, the first ones that we did. Uh, you know, that was the beginning of the season. I think they had a couple of guys, uh, Midwestern did, in new positions. And, uh, you know, they were a little rusty at that time, maybe overconfident a little bit. But uh, since then, they've regrouped and and they look very good, you know, almost comparable to, to last season. So we got our hands. Um, we're, we're in a, a tough situation coming off a loss and playing one of the top teams in the conference and one of the top teams in the country. And so, our, our guys are looking for the challenge and excited about it. What's the key to, to getting in the trenches? Yeah, the, the main thing is our defensive line's got to use their hands. And if you don't and you're just running upfield, their offensive line's just going to kind of wash you, and their running backs do a great job finding those open seams. And so we we got to establish a new line of scrimmage, and we got to use our hands and make sure that those guys uh, don't get over uh, to our linebackers, and so they're free to uh, make plays. So. It's a big challenge for our, for our defensive line. They're excited about it, and uh, you know they've been working hard this last couple of days. And so hopefully we'll carry that out into the field on Saturday. Past the 20-yard line. Well, I mean, we got to take advantage of what's given to us. You know, when you are faced with the second and short, and you, and you can't come away with nothing, uh, that's very disappointing. And so our offense has got to be more consistent in their play. Uh, you know, if it's third and short, we need to get. We need to get those yards, and we got to maintain drives, and we got to get points when we're in the red zone. So, you know, our kicker, uh, Jared Martin, has got a lot of confidence. Uh, the team has got a lot of confidence in himself, and so he's regrouped nicely and, and doing a great job in practice. Um, but it starts with our offense, like you said, and we got to maintain drives. And when we get in the red zone and the field is a little bit shorter, you know, we're going to have to make some things happen, and we need some guys to step up and make some plays. Well, if they if any time they bring more defensive backs out there and, and they know you're going to throw the ball, it makes it tough. You know, they were able to man our guys up with the two safety look, and, and so it made it difficult on our receivers to get open. And so if they do something like that, we, as an offensive group, we got to be able to run the ball against them. We're you know hit them with some draws and some in some zone plays. You know, to put them back into a regular defense, and uh, and then you know hopefully that'll open up some holes for our passing game, but. We got to do a better job, you know, from our receivers getting getting open, from our quarterback finding the open receiver, and then from our offensive line protecting him as well. Yeah, you know, uh, I think we we've kind of we learned a lot uh, when we lost to Valdosta, and uh, that's kind of what we've gone back to is we've got to we've got to recover like we did against Valdosta, and put up a good performance against a good Midwestern team this week. Uh, we had a pretty good 
pretty good day of practice yesterday, and uh, we got to continue to build on that. Yeah, you know, it's difficult. Um, obviously, if you can keep keep winning games, you don't have to deal with that. But um, but that's the situation we're in. Uh, but we we just got to continue to focus, and I've said it a thousand times. We got to focus on the next game, and the next game is Midwestern, and and that's all we can control this week. And then the next week we'll focus on the next opponent. So uh, that's that's what we're talking about this week is is starting over and um, and just focusing focusing on Midwestern. Be more consistent down there. Uh, we we've turned the ball over way too many times down there. I, I think uh, over half of our turnovers have been in the red zone, and uh, that's something we can't have. Uh, we just got to continue to push. You know, today's our big red zone day at practice, so we got to work on that and really focus in, and 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 really put ourselves in that situation, uh, that game like situation, so that on Saturday we're ready to go. Well, uh, I'm not real sure. We uh, our our offensive philosophy is evolving over time. And so, uh, you know, our offensive line is doing a great job. Uh, running backs are doing a great job. We just got to continue to move the football. However, however it needs to be, whether we got to run it or throw it, uh, we got to find a way to move. So, uh, and like you said, we, we got to find a way to put it in the end zone. We're moving the ball pretty well. Uh, we just got to finish when we get down there. Have you found it harder, though, without a running game so far when they start putting six, six and five DBs out there to stop the pass? Yeah, you know, it, it gets difficult when those guys get out there, but, but at the same time, we, we prepare for that, and uh, it's, it's nothing that we go into the game not, not prepared for. So uh, we go out there and we execute just like we would uh, if they had four DBs out there. So, uh, you know, we, 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 uh, we're keeping to the same thing we've been, do we've been doing. You know, uh, CJ can't go have a great game every game. So um, there were some passes that I could have thrown better to him. Uh, you know that he could have had a better chance at, at catching the football, but uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna stick to our game plan and go out and we just gotta execute. You guys, you didn't play in it, but took a thumping last year against MSU. But what's kind of the, the mentality to yeah show these guys that you can play? Mm -hmm. We got a rebound. Uh, you know we we're coming off a tough loss that that we really want to get the win, and uh, we got to go out there. I think it's gonna be a good matchup. They got a good offense. Uh, I feel like we got a good defense, and we 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 can also put up put up some points. So um, I think we got to go out there and, and like I said, just execute.